Hi, this is Michael Becker. And in this Tinderbox lesson, I'm going to review how to be able to create and or author a, a file in Markdown and then export it out of Tinderbox. So let's go ahead and jump right in. This was a, crest, a request that was recently made by a Tinderbox community member. So let's go out here and I'm going to go ahead and create new. And now we have a new Tinderbox. So let's go ahead and create a file. So we'll call this one note one and let's add some uh, text in and we'll write this in Markdown. So we'll go heading one and just uh, do a couple more headings and say there's heading one, two and three. And then we'll go ahead and add a subheading in here. We'll call this a subheading one and we'll give it uh, the Markdown method of subheading, which is Ah, can't type. Okay, nope, there we go. Nope, there, got it. Okay, there's a subheading. Maybe we drop some lorem ipsum text in there as well. And then while we're at it, we can go ahead and drop in some bullets. So let's say there's like a bullet one, bullet two, and bullet three. All right, so I've got my text. And then uh, also too, we can just show that we can do all comprehensive set of markdown. We'll go ahead and we'll say, um, and while while we're at it, let's find a good link that we can put in here. We'll call this one the, um, here, let's go ahead here. Let's put, drop this in. We'll say uh, Becker's Tinderbox Patreon channel. And we'll add that link in there. So that way, we can have a link in the file too. Great. So you can see that's how we can go ahead and write, write Markdown. And so all of this is now written in Markdown uh, and, and you know quite quite well formatted. But the second we hit preview, Tinderbox will add in the preview template and then convert that file to HTML, which is not what we want. What we want is to be able to output this into, into Markdown. So there's a variety of ways that we can go about doing that. Uh, and the easiest is going to be to create new, to, uh, a new template. We're going to create a template called T plane, and we're going to tell Tinderbox to only pass through the actual text of the note without rendering it. Um, now, to demonstrate uh, the alternative of that, let me do another template. We'll call it T render, and in this context, we want Tinderbox to actually render the note. And so we'll go ahead and we will um, type in the export code for rendering. All right. So what that will do is that will tell Tinderbox to render the export code just like it did with preview. So if we go here and we see that's the preview text. So now if we pull this over and say, let's view this note with the T render template we just created, you're gonna get the same output, slightly different though, because if you look at preview, the preview template is actually interjecting some headers and HTML style sheeting. And if we go to the render, because our render template does not add those headers or HTML style sheeting, we don't get that, and we just get a pure HTML in that context, which is exactly what we'd expect for that. But if we now go ahead and click T render or T plane, what we're telling Tinderbox to do is just output the text without processing or rendering it into HTML. So the second we do that, we can go ahead hit preview. We'll see it's all of the text got munged together, which is what we'd expect because preview in the um, on Tinderbox this is a WebKit pseudo browser. It's not a full browser, um, but it does allow you to preview your text, your content in Tinderbox. And if you click on the export tab, you'll see we've got our perfectly clean um, HTML, or I mean our, our markdown. So let's go ahead now and show you how we get our markdown out of Tinderbox. There's two ways to do that. Here's we've got a BB edit, BB edit file that I've just opened up. You can click the export tab, just hit copy paste and paste that in there and save that file out as Markdown. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll hit Save As, and it will come up, and we'll say, here's a Markdown test. OK, so we've now saved that file out as a, a, as a Markdown test. The other way to do that would be this. Now, remember, everything in Tinderbox is a attribute, including the file's file extension. So on that particular note, we can go ahead and change that. And probably the easiest thing to do is if you know you're writing in Markdown, we're going to go ahead and create a prototype called P Markdown. Uh, this will be our own one. Let's see, uh, or how about my Markdown? Because Tinderbox already has its own Markdown file. And what you might want to do when you're creating this prototype 
is you know change the color um, of the note. And, you know, let's say you want your markdown files to be um, I don't know a poppy color. So that way you know when you've got a file that is a general note. It's you know like this note here. This is note one, uh, note two. That note's not the markdown, but when you have your markdown um, note, let's make this, sorry, got to put this in the prototype file so it actually is a prototype, so that when it is marked down, you'll see that, you know, okay, this one is not my markdown file, that one is my markdown file, so you can do that. And one thing we want to do is we want to set in the export the attribute .md. So that says any notes that are have our prototype my markdown uh, will be exported out using uh, a .md markdown file, and we want them rendering with our tplane template. So now we're ready to go. So I, all I need to do is go ahead and select my note one, go up to the Tinderbox file menu and click uh, export selected note. And then that's going to pull this up to export selected note. And we can now go ahead and export our markdown file. And if we pull over my thing, there is our newly exported note. And there you go. We've just exported a note out as a, in Tinderbox Markdown. So um, I hope for you, hopefully this was helpful for you um, and you can get a sense a little bit about Tinderbox export and how all of that, how, how all of that works and writing in Markdown within Tinderbox. Um, if you like this video, please do subscribe and like it. Uh, please ask comments, questions and everything else to help further the, the program we have here. And then also check down in the notes and uh, take a look at my Patreon channel and support me if you can, because I really appreciate your support to help me further uh, people's education on how to use Tinderbox and further the development of the five C's of learning and knowledge management. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.